Okay, today we're going to add uh, two comets, uh, C2020 M3 Atlas and 88P Howell, which are both visible from the southern hemisphere uh, as we speak. So we're going to add them to, to Stellarium um, so that we can track them and then take some photos. Okay, so to do that we need Stellarium and we need to go over to the configuration window button go across here to plugins and scroll down here to solar system editor okay and hit configure if you haven't done this before you'll have to hit tick load at startup then shut down Stellarium then reopen it and this configure button will be uh, you'll be able to press this button and in here you want to go over to solar system import orbital elements in MPC format we want comets up here in the bookmark we want MPC's list of observable comets and get orbital elements okay so now it's loaded up the database so we want to type in uh, 2020 let's see slash 2020 F Three, no, not F three. Sorry, M three. M three Atlas. Select that and add object. Okay, and we go. We do that again now. Back to comets. Select the same bookmark. Get all the elements, and this time we want to add in uh, C slash twenty twenty. Uh, 88 uh, okay so how about just 88 88 yeah, there it is 88 p how that guy there add objects okay and we're done they're both now in Stellarium so we can close this down okay here we are in Stellarium so now to track it we just open up the search window and we type in C slash 2020 and we'll go for M3 the Atlas first uh, hit the button and this is my backyard so it's saying at the moment it's behind a tree so we'll just fast forward so which is a handy feature in Stellarium being able to put your own um, landscape in there so you can see when things are actually above trees and what have you in the backyard so there you go there it is right there that's the comet and I have uh, a little uh, 5 inch MacCast telescope on a Saxon uh, EQ5 go to mount which I have hooked up to Stellarium so I'll point the um, telescope at that later on and take some photos and um, I'll show you what it looks like but at the moment, that's uh, the two comets you can actually see from Australia uh, in October, and they'll be around for a few more months yet, so uh, hopefully uh, you'll be able to um, track those and get some shots yourself. So yeah, I hope that helped. Please, guys.